backyard guy here and uh, sadly my hive from last year died. So today I'm going to show you how to fill a new hive and what I have to do is get into these brood boxes and put in the new bees. They just arrived. They came in from Sacramento, California and uh, decided to get in here and uh, get them situated. All right. I wanted to show you guys real quick a honey frame and uh, usually they'll put their honey frames on the outside and their brood frames will go on the inner and even though it's been like this all winter this honey is actually still good um, it's good forever and you can see where they've capped it but I'll put that back. Don't need to deal with that right now. And I'll set this aside because we're going to be working with this bottom brood box today. And I'm going to take out five frames. And then after I take those out, we can uh, put the newbies in here. The reason I have this tool is because they use a substance called propolis. It's kind of like their version of duct tape. They make it with tree sap. Make sure everything's nice and tight and firm. Makes it a little harder and sticky for me. But uh, no problem. And so I'm just gonna take apart these middle five. And then we should be good to go. Here are my Buckfast bees. There's 10,000 bees in here. They weigh about three pounds all combined. They're packaged bees. They'll come like this. They were vacuumed out of a existing hive back in Sacramento. Um, in transit, they've, they've been fed by this thing, um, some sugar water in here. And the next step before I can transfer them into their new home is I'm gonna have to, uh, what's called, coat them with sugar water. I have over here 50% water, 50% sugar and I'm just going to try to gently coat the top of this and this is going to accomplish a couple of things for me. Um, it's going to force them to immediately start feeding so they'll be preoccupied with that. Secondly it also slows them down because it covers their wings and when they have this on their wings they're not going to be able to fly. I'm going to want to do four dunks on both sides. Now come July these 10,000 bees are going to be closer to 50 to 60,000 bees if everything goes right. They're mostly female bees right now. I'm going to flip it over. And while I got it here, we'll see this a little more closer in a little bit, but this right here is the queen bee. She's kept in a tiny little separate cage because if you just plunked her in with all these new bees, they would actually just kill her immediately. So the goal is for her to release her pheromones during the trip. And they'll hopefully accept her in the new hive. Ooh. Eat up. Hey, uh Come take a close look at this. I wanted to show you one thing before we go any further. These bees have already started building, you can see the white in there, a little honeycomb there. And what's crazy is they've been in this cage less than five days and they're already being industrious. So bees will be bees. Okay guys, I already loosened it up. I'm gonna take their feeding can out of here. Yep. You can see they're on the bottom. I'm just gonna fling those ones in there. And now, 
Let's take a look and see if the queen is still alive. So we're just gonna lift this up, pull her out. Oh, that's a good sign. See how they're all on her like that? They're grooming her, they're taking care of her. Yeah, she's moving around in there. This is good. If there was no queen, they'd be queenless and they'd stop producing uh, new bees. So we definitely need her. All right, time to move these bees over here. I've set my queen down. And I'm just gonna pick up all of her new friends. And I'm just gonna basically flip it over like this. I'm gonna shake them. I'm gonna, you know, try not to hit the hive. Try not to hit their brood box with this thing. And this is gonna take you a little while, as you can see. Part of my problem is this thing they've been working on got in the way, clogged my hole. So I'm just gonna kind of gently set that down because there are bees on it. Now we have a bigger hole to work with here. Okay, I've been gentle up to this point, but the bees left in here are gonna, gonna have to get a little more aggressive. There we go. They're sticky from that stuff I put on them. Come on out of there. All right guys, it's time to release the queen. This is the most critical part. There's two ways to do this, the slow release and the immediate release. Um, since they've been acclimated now for going on five days, we're gonna do the immediate release, but if we were gonna do the slow release, I wanna show you. There's this little cork here that you'd pop out and you'd replace that with a marshmallow. And then when you attached it down to the hive, it would take the bees about a day. And after that day, they'd release the queen and she can walk out. But we can already see that uh, they're friends and they've accepted her. So we're gonna pry this open here and we're gonna put her right in. Okay, wish me luck. Pop that staple off. Now, gonna reach down in here and opening up the little screen putting it under there just gonna set it down she'll crawl right out okay she went in that was a critical part because if she just flew away that would have we would have had to get a new queen all right we're gonna get the hives closed up now and put the frame back together here. And one at a time. Now, you might wanna have your brush handy because there'll be sometimes some bees on the side here. It's not too bad today, but you can kind of brush them in. So yeah, you just wanna clean them so they're off of this little ridge here because that's where I'm gonna be putting these parts. Out of the way. Coming through. Mm. 
This is where they're gonna be making new bees. This is where they're gonna be storing their honey for the winter. So for this last one, just push down on both sides and it'll slide right into place. Here's another brew box that we're gonna set on top. There we go. All right, another step, AP23. This is like a protein patty for them. It's gonna acclimate them with some food so that they're, they're gonna be out of sorts for a couple days um, while they figure out where they're at. This can be a food source for them. It's yummy, it's got some fudge. You know, if you wanted to try it, you could. It's not gonna hurt you. And this, is, this will give them protein, it will, um, supplement them while they get going it has some things in it to help their gut for them to stay healthy and as you can see I'm just tearing it up making some tic-tac-toe boards and when they come in they're gonna get all this wax out of the way of themselves and toss it aside we're gonna put this in this is gonna help with the varroa mites it's a parasite that we do not want to infect this hive Always follow the instructions carefully when you get one of these. But I pulled it out and I'm gonna kind of bend this a little bit. You don't want it to fall through the, the cracks. You're gonna want it to hang there kind of like a coat hanger. So just be gentle when you do it. Okay, time to put both the lids on. Now be careful when you do this. You're gonna see how this side is deeper than uh, this side right here. You're going to want to put it deep side down so that they can have access to this. And when I put this on, it's just going to kind of push that plastic thing downward. Okay. Put the cap on. I like to put a rock on top so it can't blow away. Bonus tip, take your queen cage and set it down right next to the, the entrance to the hive. This thing is smelling of the pheromones of the queen. And if any of the worker bees or anything got lost, they're gonna smell that, see the entrance, and hopefully go right inside. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. And we just installed a new hive, and hopefully this one goes a lot better than last year's. I am the Backyard Guy, and uh, if you like my videos, wanna learn more about bees, smash that subscribe button. See you later.